the coronavirus vaccine, which the FDA just approved for emergency use. It's just like the PS5. Everybody wants it. Nobody can get it. And if you're rich, you already had it a month ago. Saturday Night Live gave fans another holiday-filled show for its latest episode, but couldn't resist tackling a few sketches surrounding COVID-19. SNL took on the COVID-19 Pfizer vaccine in its cold open, with Beck Bennett playing Wolf Blitzer, hosting The Situation Room, with Kate McKinnon playing Dr. Anthony Fauci, and Heidi Gardner playing Trump's COVID-19 coordinator, Deborah Burks, commenting on the vaccine's rollout plan. Yeah, we're doing this vaccine World War II style. We made England go in first. <laughs> See what's what, and then we swoop in at the end and steal the spotlight. McKinnon's Fauci also explained the order of which the vaccine will be distributed, first going to healthcare workers, and then moving on to your Mildred, Horace, Blanche, Mabel, or Walters of the world. We're talking about super seniors. Anyone who pays for Red Lobster with a diner's club car. <laughs> and when asked for his overall thoughts on the vaccine distribution, McKinnon's Fauci didn't hold back. This president has done about as good a job with this rollout as I did throwing out that first pitch at the Nationals game. Yes, I believe we have a clip. Oh, we don't have to show it. It's fine. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> Over on the hosting front, Timothy Chalamet made his hosting debut on Saturday Night Live. In his monologue, the actor touched on growing up in New York and shared that his mother actually used to do background work on the show, showing a clip of the star's mom in a Dana Carvey and Chris Farley sketch. She almost got spit on by Chris Farley. <laughs> the actor saying he'll always be a New York City kid at heart, then switched things up, sitting at a piano and giving a fake musical rendition of his time as a kid in the city. Nothing like eating Cheetos on the F train on Christmas Eve. Mm. You eat a handful, then you hold the pole, then you lick your fingers. Pete Davidson soon joined him at the piano to share some of his memories of Staten Island Christmases. Hearing Santa come down the chimney and realizing it's just rats. Chalamet showed off several skills in the episode, including impressions and vocals. He sang about a tiny horse in a musical sketch. Played a contestant in a holiday baking competition who sets out to make a cake of Santa's from around the world, but it doesn't turn out quite as planned. I don't know. I put it in the oven and then it came out like this. Can, can, can we show that cake on TV? And acted alongside Davidson in a couple more sketches, playing Jets fanatics in a spoof of a sports talk show, as well as a pair of white rappers alongside a cameo from Questlove. Today, hip hop is about the lyrical tradition of America. Mm. Nah, see, like for me. For me, it's about that yeet, yeet. No, I feel like yeet. So like... <laughs> but his standout sketch had to be playing Harry Styles in a talk show parody featuring Ego Wodum as Dionne Warwick. What is watermelon sugar? Well, I think it's just about summer, but <laughs> some people think it's about oral sex. Elsewhere in the sketch, Chloe Fineman reprised her impression of Chalamet himself as another guest on the show. Okay, yeah, you seem young. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I guess. <laughs> and Pete Davidson played Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah, hey, yeah, what up, huh? No, oh my God, a man is here to kill us. Other sketches of the night featured a Rona family Christmas where Cecily Strong and Beck Bennett played versions of the virus and Chalamet played their screw-up son who hadn't infected anyone. Maybe you'd feel better if you just dined indoors more. Hey, I'm just following Cuomo's stay-at-home order. You do not mention Cuomo in this household! And during Weekend Update, McKinnon brought back her character, Dr. Winotis, donning reindeer antlers and commenting on the Pfizer vaccine. We noticed that we have this, but everything else about the vaccine, you know, who to get this, when we get this, how we get this, <laughs> We don't notice. For more on everything that went down on this week's SNL, head to THR.com. For the Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Neha Joy.